Do you guys know how horrifying it is to open your editing software and this is the first thing you see? Horrifying. I have mass filmed so many videos at this point. We need to hurry up and edit them or my computer is just gonna crash and die and cry. What do you think about meh? What constitutes a meh book? To me, it's a three-star book. I see more negatives than positives, but I'm still like, you know, you weren't particularly offensive, so you get a meh. Like, I don't really care if you exist. It's out there. Someone can like it, someone can hate it, and I don't care either way. You're not the worst. You're not the best. You're that little slot in between. You guys want to know which ones are meh? I would tell you. 2019, I read a lot of books starting my booktube channel, and it's time I recognize the ones that just weren't really worth mentioning, but are now. Stay tuned to the end. Number one will startle you. Clickbait. The number five meh book offended me, even though I said meh books don't offend me, but this one did because I expected so much for it. I have talked about it before. It is Finding Audrey because I thought this would cure so many of my problems. It did not. This girl, she has some social anxiety because she was, we don't know why, because the book didn't tell us why. And it told us that, oh, some big event with some high school girls or middle school girls, it has made Audrey so anxious. She can't even look people in the eye. She has to wear sunglasses. Well, tell me what this big event was. I'm sure that would make a marvelous story. No, we're not gonna tell you. We're just gonna let you use our imagination. I hated that. Tell me what has caused this young girl to just be afraid of everyone outside of her family. Why can't she look people in the eye? What happened? Why didn't you tell me? Oh, but she's suddenly better when this boy Linus comes into the picture. Here's her anxiety like that. No, basically all the topics in this book, I was like, no, no, handled wrong, not likable, not relatable, not real, but it did have its funny moments that I actually did laugh at. If you know the part I'm talking about with like the mom, she buys like a how to talk to your rebellious teenager book. She like uses all that on like the son in the book. I thought that was pretty funny because it had like a sort of reverse psychology thing that I love. And there are parts in the book where it's written like a movie script format and I like that. That was really interesting. Is there always even times where I liked Audrey's point of view. But everything else, Linus just not being told what this life-changing incident was. Why are you toying with me, man? Why? Another mess series, Lord of the Rings. I did not like these books. Like, I gave it a three just because it's the freaking Lord of the Rings. It deserves some respect, apparently. My favorite parts were where people were talking. Why? Because I was tired of reading about every stupid tree. I don't like descriptions of scenery or buildings. Get me to the plot. Also, Sauron didn't scare me. We didn't even get to see him. We didn't even talk, I think. It's like the villains were way over there and the hobbits were here just walking and walking and walking and walking, sometimes running. However, I hated Frodo in the movies. I wanted him to die. He was annoying. He was much more likable in the books though. So good on that. Just, I don't, I don't understand. And people yell at Eldest for being a Lord of the Rings ripoff. He improved upon it. He improved Lord of the Rings. It just took too long to do anything. Get to the point, please. However, maybe because it wasn't in the movies, I really liked um, the part in the final book, Return of the King, where they go back to Hobbiton or the Shire or whatever it's called. And oh my gosh, it's under, um, I can't think of the word. Basically, it's been invaded. They have to reclaim the Hobbit land. That was actually pretty cool. I was like, wow. Book three, one of my favorite authors, her first book, eh, The Near Witch. My biggest issue with this book. Okay, The Near Witch. These people, they live in a swamp, a marsh. Some creepy things happen every now and then. There's some friendly witches around, but you don't really want to mess with them. But one day, the stranger blows in with the wind and everything is changing. Kids are being kidnapped. Things are not as they should be. Who did this? Who kidnapped the kids? I know. It's literally on the title. Of course it's the near witch. Who can it be? It's the near witch. We have to look for clues on who did it. It's the near witch. Like, we know, but we're looking for clues on who did it. It's the near witch. We only see her twice in the whole book. It wasn't a good payoff. I didn't really like the girl character at all, but the boy I think his name is Cole. He was great. He has, I have a copy of The Near White Witch. I don't like the book, but I'm not gonna give it away because it has like his short story in it and that was fantastic. Let's just get another story about Cole. It was just lacking any suspense because
discussed, we obviously knew what was happening. There was no twist. Well, yeah, there was no twist. Second meh book I've read, A Clockwork Orange. I was excited to read this book because I like me a twisted character. Have you guys actually read this book? It has its own made up language. I only got used to it like a hundred pages in, I think. I don't even remember if it even had a hundred pages. It was a short book. It was just, I don't know your language, so I don't really understand what you're saying. Clockwork Orange, messed up kid, commits a crime, gets arrested, gets put in this program that warps his mind so he can't like even think about doing a violent act or he'll get violently sick. Amazing. I like that idea. Why'd you have to do all the weird vocabulary? The fluky dukes and the yummy tum chums and the whatever, right? the other words. Also, the man was a rapist and we're supposed to be rooting for him. I was not. I'm like, oh, I can never listen to classical music again because it'll make me throw up. You deserve more than that. Interesting premise, but why? Why the creepy vocabulary? Like, it's a made up language and I don't know this language. You get used to it kind of because of the context it's just in, but it took a long time. And now, the best books I've ever read. It's a series. And I honestly do not get why people like these books. Like, I don't hate them. I just don't like, wow. It's um, the Legend series by Mary Lou. I don't understand it. It's like the most basic dystopian books I've ever read. Favorite booktuber, Murphy Napier. I remember one video her saying, this is one of the best dystopian worlds I've ever seen. And I'm like, politely disagree. It's basically this. Girl and boy, bad government, a plague. Plague created by government to kill unnecessary, unwanted population. That's been done a lot. That's it. I, I didn't think it was an original. I wasn't really attached to anyone. I hate Thomas. The first one was probably my favorite, if I can call it that. The second book, I can't even remember what happened in the second. Oh my gosh, I can't even remember what happened in the third book because I like the big plot points. It just wasn't that remarkable, memorable. And like a new book came out and I'm like, I ain't reading that. This book was boring. And I don't like books that like don't give people time to mourn a character's death. Like The Mockingjay. I like that book, but I'm like, I didn't even know that guy was dead. It happened so fast. Same thing in this book. People die and I'm like, oh, we're just gonna leave? I mean, like, we were friends. Like, okay, okay, bye. I wasn't impressed. I mean, like, I had high hopes for it because it was like this teenage criminal mastermind and I loved Artemis Fowl growing up. So I was super excited about it. I also just really don't like books that utilizes plagues unless the plagues are like really unique. I don't like the simple, oh, you get sick and die plagues. Like, do something interesting. Make it a werewolf plague. I like werewolves. Because it's always the government that creates the plague. Also, I hate Thomas. Unending hatred. <sighs> What's the book that you guys just have like no opinion of? Just, yeah, it exists. Let's move on. Is it something you DNF'd? Let me know in the comments below. Or was it just a series in total? Like, I liked the first two Illuminae books. Obsidia was meh. But I, the whole series I thought was like, meh, I didn't really get anything out of it. It was fun, but just not really memorable, I guess. That's a good word. Bye, loves. You get yourself a good book and just have a grand old jolly old time. Keep turning pages unless you're just so mad you can't, like, manifest the energy to turn the pages. And yeah, just DNF it, move on. Read Otis. Bye!